There are almost 60 champions in Paladin's Champions of the Realm, and with a roster that big, there's a little bit of something for everybody to enjoy. But not every champion is made equal, and some champions are simply more popular than others. In this video, I wanted to find out who the most popular champion is to watch. You see, there's actually a pretty big difference between playing a champion and watching someone else play that champion. Because, well, <laughs> simply put, most people aren't good at every single champion in the game. And certainly, most people aren't, you know, good enough at the super high skill champions to actually derive any sort of fun out of them. But, even though they might not be able to play the champion themselves, it's certainly still a lot of fun to watch someone who's actually good at a character play them and do all these flashy cool moves with them. So I set out on a mission to try and find out which of these champions is actually the most fun to watch, even if they're not necessarily the most fun for most people to play. So. How exactly did we do this? Well, a month ago, I set out on a very long and epic quest to publish a poll with every single champion on my community tab. This was quite an arduous process. Every single day, I would get onto YouTube and just publish a poll with four champions at a time, because that's the maximum amount allowed on a community poll like this. And yeah, we basically did a few rounds. So in the first round, every champion was in it, obviously. And I just went in alphabetical order, putting four champions at a time until we got to the end of the alphabet at Z. Then I took the winners of the pulls and put them up against each other in another pull. So I took the winner of the first pull, the second pull, etc., put them up against each other, and continued that process until there was finally just one pull left with three winners. And yeah, <laughs> the results were shocking. So let's actually discuss these polls and discuss some of the upsets, discuss the winners, and talk a little bit about the methodology of the poll and also maybe some of the flaws and biases in the polls as well along the way. So yeah, in round one, there were a lot of polls that were pretty obvious with pretty clear-cut, easy-to-predict winners because well, a lot of champions simply aren't as flashy compared to, well, some of the more notable champions. And this first poll is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Androxus versus three tanks. Yeah, most people prefer the snappy, crazy dash flicks of Androxus and all the incredible plays he can do to the more mundane to watch plays of Ash, Atlas, and Azan. Even if all three of these characters are fun to play, they just don't really cut it when it comes to actually watching them compared to just the cool stuff that Androxus can do. But unsurprisingly, if we're comparing the tanks to each other, Azan came in first, then Atlas, then Ash, which makes a bunch of sense to me. Up next, we have Bomb King, Betty LaBamba, Barrack, and Bach all going up against each other. And real quick, now is a good time to point out, some of these polls actually got a lot of votes. This one got 8,500 votes, and some of these even passed 10k, which is crazy because that that's more than the average concurrent player count of Paladins at its peak. Ugh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, lots of votes on these, a pretty huge sample size. The data should be reasonably accurate, so hey, that's nice. But yeah, Bomb King easily won this poll, and again, I don't think it's really that surprising. Buck kind of put up a fight. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and he's the only other one who I think really stood a shot of actually winning this poll because he does have some cool moments. Raven Trick's entire career is built off this guy. So, yeah, I, I definitely expected him to uh, do decently well, but Bomb King is just a classic. And uh, yeah, it's really fun to watch a good Bomb King do his thing, so I definitely understand why he won this. Although, it is also fair to point out that, at the end of the day, I'm the one conducting these polls, and so the people most likely to see them are viewers of my channel. And I'm the Bomb King guy. So, there might be a little bit of bias going on there in terms of people who subscribe to me for the Bomb King content voting for Bomb King on the poll. Maybe it's a little bit more biased than it should be, but I still think it's reasonable to assume that Bomb King would win this and move on to round two. Up next, we have a poll with Caspian, Cassie, Corvus, and Dredge, and this was a more mundane poll, only 4.9 uh, 4 thousand votes. Caspian ended up winning this with his flashy amounts of damage. It's very satisfying to watch someone get absolutely shredded with his ultimate. Next up, this one 
is a pretty obvious one. 7.8 thousand votes, we have Drogos, Eevee, Fernando, and Furia. Eevee gracefully wins this one. Drogos being a solid second place, but uh, yeah, a lot of Eevee fans. And again, this might be a little bit of bias in terms of these polls because I'm also the Eevee guy. But uh, at the same time, I think most people would reasonably expect Eevee to win this poll when put up against uh, these other options. Next up, we have, I think, the closest poll of round one, which has Grok, Grover, Imani, and Inara. Also the least voted poll we've looked at so far, and Imani wins this, but, well, only by 11 points. So yeah, Grok and Grover putting up a reasonable fight and actually very close together in terms of their scores. And then Nanara sadly in dead last, one of the least voted for characters on the entire poll. Only 9%, which is technically higher than someone like Fernando here, but you have to keep in mind, this got just a fewer votes than any poll so far, which means, you know, a, a very small amount of people actually ended up voting for Nanara, and the actual amount of people who voted for Fernando is larger than the people who voted for Anara, just because, you know, there were more votes in the Fernando poll than the Anara poll. So, yeah, pretty uh, crazy <laughs> stuff going on there. Next up, we have another poll with Ayo, Genos, Kasumi, and Khan. And this is one of those where we can really see uh, the difference between watching a character and liking a character, or simping for a character, or anything like that. Because Ayo, <laughs> were this poll asking a very different question, would have easily topped the charts. But instead, she actually loses out to Khan. Khan is... Well, a tank who's going to make it into round two, surprisingly. And yeah, he ends up winning this poll with a pretty decent margin. 9.2 thousand votes on this poll. So yeah, pretty crazy output from, uh, yeah, people voting on this one. Next, there's Kinesa, Koga, Lex, and Leon. Again, not a huge shocker here. Koga wins this one because he's a flank with flashy plays. And now for the most obvious winner, <laughs> I think so far, Maeve versus Lilith, Makoa, and Maldamba. Maeve easily comes out on top here, although Makoa, my man, making it in second place with 18%, Damba, 17%, and Lilith in last with 15%. But yeah, <laughs> uh, these three basically all fighting for dead last. Very, very close, and then Maeve is the clear winner here. Now, this next poll is a very interesting poll because, well, nobody here is really that much of a standout pick. There's Moji, Nyx, Octavia, and Omen. Moji wins this one, but I think that's because she's the least boring option to most people. Although I certainly do enjoy playing Moji, I'm still not entirely convinced that she's the craziest champion to watch or anything like that. And certainly when compared against Octavia <laughs> and Nyx and Omen, yeah, I guess she wins this poll, but uh, yeah, kind of one of the uh, more boring polls. So let's move on and let's talk about this poll, which again is kind of a similarly uh, boring-ish poll, but uh, there is a little bit of an upset here because I would have assumed Ruckus would have been at least a little bit higher. Considering that Ruckus is capable of performing some pretty uh, crazy feats of mobility and really abusing maps and just kind of going all over the place and finding, you know, unique places to ult and ambushing people in the back line and, you know, I always thought of him as a pretty flashy tank. But uh, I guess not. He comes in dead last and actually goes behind Rom, who's at 21%. Yeah, never thought that would have happened. And then, yeah, Pip is the clear winner here by a, a pretty decent majority. And, uh, yeah, we'll see Pip a little bit later on, too. Pip surprisingly did really well. Next up, we have Sati, Ceres, Shaolin, and Sky. And this was actually a pretty contested poll. I think this was the most contested now, actually, with Shaolin just seven points ahead of Sati. So both of them are really, really close, but Shaolin does just edge out a little bit. This is another one of those cases where I do have to wonder if some channel bias comes in here, because I have been playing a lot of Shaolin recently, and so I have to wonder if maybe that's influenced people's decisions here. But uh, yeah, Ceres, despite being the most popular character in the game, quite literally, yeah, dead last on this poll. Apparently more people like playing Ceres than actually watching her, which is interesting. Moving on, we have Strix, Talus, Terminus, Tiberius. Tiberius wins. Uh, pretty close between all of them. And uh, yeah, Tiberius, I guess, wins because he's just a little bit flashier than the others, but uh, kind of a boring poll. Moving on, Torvald, Tyra, Vatu, 7. Vatu wins this one by a massive majority, which is pretty interesting. 
because he's up against another insanely mobile and flashy flank, Seven. Seven is, uh, whew, there's, there's a lot of crazy stuff that Seven is capable of, especially over his history when he was a lot stronger. Oh man, one of my most popular shorts ever, actually, is Seven just abusing the map and traveling from one spawn to another in a, a few seconds flat. So, to see him actually lose to Torvald is pretty insane. Like, he is two points under Torv. That's a massive upset, in my opinion. I am shocked to see the output, uh, or the outcome of this poll. That's pretty crazy to me. But yeah, Vatu, clear winner here. And, I mean, I'm not surprised that he won. I'm just surprised that Seven did so bad. Because, <laughs> yeah, Vatu is a really stylish, flashy flank. And if you can play Vatu well, oh man, <laughs> it is awesome. And then... Well, not quite finally, but second to last poll here, we have Victor, Vivian, Vora, Willow. Vora won by the biggest majority thus far, and it's not a surprise, because she's up against Victor and Vivian. <laughs> this poll had 7.4 thousand votes. I'll put the math on the screen. I, I'm not sure if Vivian is the least voted for character in this set of polls, or if that honor actually goes to Inara still. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> oof, it's not looking good for her, and it's no big surprise, it's Vivian. So yeah, really the only contest here is between Vora and Willow, and Vora so cleans up here. Yeah, people love Vora, man. <laughs> and then the final poll, we ran out of champions, so we only had three in this last one, between Yagaroth, Ying, and Zin, reasonably contested, and Zin ends up uh, taking the victory here because, well, he's a flank. You'll notice flanks tend to win a lot, because... They're usually the characters capable of the most flashy plays. Next, we get to move on to round two. This is where the rounds actually get interesting, because we're taking the winners of the first round and putting them up against each other in the second round. And already, in the first round of the second round, that's confusing. The first poll of the second round, yes, we have an upset. I wasn't entirely convinced that Eevee was going to win this, and certainly not by as much as she did. Androxus, Bomb King, Caspian, and Eevee are our contestants. I'm not surprised that Caspian lost, but I was actually expecting Androxus to win this one. And the reason why is Androxus has the title of being my most popular character ever in terms of my uh, own videos that I've made. My most popular video is an Androxus match where I showcased the Silly Godslayer build and ended up farming the lobby and getting us an insane amount of kills and an insane amount of damage. So knowing that fact, I assumed he would win this actually relatively easily. And another factor that led me to believe that Androxus would win this is I didn't expect Eevee to do as well as she did considering a lot of my Eevee videos I notice when I upload an Eevee video, it's usually performing relatively poorly compared to the other videos I upload in, uh, you know, the, the same time span. Usually, uh, on YouTube Studio, it compares your video to the last 10 videos you do. So, like, if a video performs really well, it's a 1 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10. And if it performs poorly, it's like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Usually, the Eevee videos are anywhere, anywhere between, like, 7 and 10 out of 10 for me. Like, I've noticed that over the past probably year or two. And so, yeah, I, I was under the impression that not a lot of people actually enjoy watching Eevee. I was under the impression that there was a dedicated player base of Eevee players who really enjoy watching Eevee content, but most people don't actually care. Apparently, I was wrong, at least in terms of these polls, because Eevee ended up slapping down Androxus by whew, a lot of points. <laughs> and then Androxus and BK were tied at 25%, but... If you squint your eyes, you can see that Androxus is just like one pixel ahead of Bomb King. So technically Bomb King is in third place, but they're basically the same. I would consider that to be a tie. So yeah, already a major upset and quite a crazy pull. Up next we have, well, <laughs> a slightly more lopsided pull. Imani, Khan, Koga, and Maeve. Maeve clears this one, easy and I don't think anyone should be surprised. <laughs> as much as I do really like Imani, she's just, she's been broken for so long, and I just don't think there's a chance she holds a candle to Maeve. Khan has the unfortunate uh, problem of being a tank, so yeah, he loses to Maeve. <laughs> and then Koga, I mean, Koga's, you know, reasonably fun to watch. But again, it's Maeve we're talking about here. This is one of the most popular characters of all time when it comes to Paladins, Champions of the Realm. 
So yeah, to round three she goes. And then up here we have Moji, Pip, Shaolin, and Tiberius head to head. And Pip actually cleared this poll too. Pip ending up making it to round three, he ended up beating Shaolin and Tiberius by a, a pretty good margin, 12 points. And Shaolin and Tiberius, again, are tied for 23%, but you can see Shaolin's just a little bit higher than Tiberius. And yeah, my mind is blown by this, because I didn't expect Pip to actually beat uh, the damage champions that made it to round two. I mean, Tiberius is, you know, he's got some cool stuff going on. He's a very stylish champion. And Shaolin, I mean, he can make some great plays too, and that can be very satisfying to watch. So to see a healer make it into round three, that is mind-blowing to me. And then for the final part of round two, we have Vatu, Vora, and Zin. And, well, I fully expected Zin to lose this, because Vatu and Vora are simply more stylish. But I wasn't actually sure whether Vatu or Vora would win, which one of them would actually win. And it turns out it's Vora by 20% of the vote, which is pretty phenomenal. <laughs> That's uh, quite interesting, because Vatu is the higher skill character, but he also has some extremely flashy stuff going on. But Vora, well, Vora has some pretty awesome stuff too. She's got very stylish animations. They're both really well-executed champions, really fantastic flanks. Uh, the reason I think Vora wins this here against Vatu is because she is a little bit easier to play. I think it's easier for people to relate to her and understand her gameplay and what's going on. And that brings us to the grand finale. The winners of round two fighting each other in round three for the title of the most fun champion to watch. And this again was a major upset. So Pip obviously in last. <laughs> That's not the upset here. Pip versus the three of the most popular flanks in the game. Yeah, poor guy is not going to make it. But, notably, with 10,000 votes on this poll, Pip still polled 15%. I mean, good for him. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse for him. He could have been, like, maybe 10 or even something like 7%. 15% is not bad for support. That's 15% of people saying, hey, Eevee, Maeve, Vora? Nah, I want to watch the support. Good for him. I mean, that's incredible. But then, in second place... We actually end up having Maeve with 21% of the vote, only six points higher than Pip. That's very interesting. Someone's got to be third place among these flanks. I'm surprised it's Maeve, considering how popular she's been throughout Paladin's history. She's had a longer time than Vora to build up a major fan base, and there was a time where she probably would have ended up winning this poll way back in the day. I feel like she's fallen off slightly in terms of her popularity over the past few years. But she's still very, very popular. Still, though, she ends up in third place. Now, this, to me, is where things get shocking and where things get questionable. In second place, we have Vora with 28% of the vote. Which means Evie is our winner at 36%. Whoa. <laughs> so this was very shocking to me. And I have to say, this was actually a lot closer than it looks here at the end when we have, you know, 10,000 votes. For a while, these two were basically neck and neck, breaking even. I actually, uh, I took a screenshot of it at about 1,000 votes. And wow, I mean, look at how close that is. So yeah, this was a very, very contested finale. But I was not expecting Eevee to win that. And I'm rooting for her. Turns out, yeah, Eevee's the most fun champion to watch, which has me confounded, because people don't watch my Eevee videos compared to some of the other champions I upload, so it's really confusing to me. But also, one more thing was going in Vora's favor that makes this more of an upset in my mind. In the video I was talking about earlier, where I asked for, well, the best champion, just period. <laughs> Based on whatever criteria you want, choose your best champion, choose your favorite champion. Vora ended up being the number one champion that people chose. So yeah, I was kind of expecting her to maybe end up winning this one too. But she didn't. She made it to the finale, she made it to second place. But she got cleared by Eevee. And that's where I have to wonder again. If there is a little bit of bias going on here, because I am the Eevee guy, it's my channel that these polls are getting posted on, and so the people who are most likely to see them are people subscribed to my channel. 
The funny thing is, some of these get more <laughs> votes than uh, some of the videos I've published recently, which uh, <laughs> I cry. Um, but yeah, uh, how much of this is the result of that bias? I do have to wonder, because I'm sure it plays a factor, but I think it's almost impossible to measure just how much unless we were to get those... Uh, unless we were to get an, another random 10,000 people just chosen at randomly by Evil Mojo to participate in this poll, and then see who comes out on top. And I don't think that's going to happen, so... <laughs> this is the best we've got. And it means that Eevee is the most fun champion to watch. Now certainly, uh, bias of my channel aside, I think it makes perfect sense that she made it to uh, the finales, because she is very, very engaging and interesting to watch. She still could have been beaten by Androxus, and that would have made sense too. It's no surprise that she, Maeve, Vora, or, you know, maybe some other flank would have ended up here. Because, at the end of the day, yeah, it seems like you guys love watching flanks. Because flanks, well, they're just the most flashy champions. They've got all the movement, they've got all the crazy skill shots, and so, when someone's really good at them, and they're playing them well, and they're streaming it, or they're recording it, it's a good time for everybody. And so yeah, uh, I guess that's where we're going to end off this video. And I'm going to leave it to you to comment down below. If you agree with the results of this poll, who your favorite champion to watch is, who your favorite champion in general is to play, do you have a favorite champion to play that's different from your favorite champion to watch? Let me know all that stuff in the comment section down below. For me, when it comes to my favorite champion to watch, I do have to say, yeah, it's Eevee, but that's because I am a, a sucker for good Eevee gameplay. You know, I got Uber Spadey's videos over here. I'm watching them. It's good stuff. But uh, yeah, I am not everybody, and everybody has different tastes, but it looks like people's tastes aren't too far away from mine, so that's very, very interesting. But yeah, with all that being said, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do all the YouTube stuffs in the comment section down below and in the description down below. There are a bunch of links there, links to the Twitch, links to the Discord server, you can catch me live. And uh, yeah, you can also, if you want to help support this channel and buy crystals in the process, which you're probably going to do anyways to buy some skins and stuff like that, then head on over to the Nexus, nexus.gg slash andrewchicken. Here you can buy stuff like crystals, the season pass, the starter edition, all of these wonderful things at the same price you normally do. But a portion of the proceeds go to supporting this channel directly. It's officially affiliated with Evil Mojo, it's not some sketch thing. No, Evil Mojo is fully involved with this, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty great thing, so recommend checking it out if you want to buy some crystals or any of the wonderful DLC you see here. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.